chops and boudoirs today. I'm just going to season the, the lamb chops quickly. Got here a spice from our local butcher. They make it up for us. It's, it's just salt and pepper and some other spices. And it gives a nice flavor. And as I said earlier, it's good for the meat just to lie a little bit for the seasoning to go into the meat. And we leave the, the lamb chops dry, we don't oil it because it is um, got a lot of fat. You can see almost marbling. Lamb chops got a lot of fat and um, it helps to keep the meat juicy. So let's go and back our grid. Okay, now we're going to do the, the lamb chops and the boudoirs. There's two ways of doing the boudoirs in my opinion. The first is put it on the outside like this in the grid, the lamb chops in the middle and dry, take the bouris off when it's ready, keep it aside and keep it warm and then finish the chops off. Um, I personally prefer to do it on separately, so I'll show you just now how I do it on its own because it's the best when I mean, it comes straight off the grid. So now we're going to put the sausage on first. You need to get that balance where the heat is just right, not too much. And as I said earlier, you don't want the flare-ups in your meats too close. If your meat's high and you have flare-ups, that's fine. Ah, that's beautiful. That's what you want, huh? People always enjoy a nice glass of wine around the fire. Ha, look at that color. Now we're in business. There you are. And you can judge by the sound of the sizzling, that's the kind of heat you want. It's not burning, you see it's just nicely browning the meat and the fat stripping out, rendering out. And the sausage, basically ready. I'm going to take the sausage off. Take off the sausage, it's going to break. That's correct. When it's done, it breaks easily in pieces. With this style of brying, you bry the chops crispy. The fat keeps the meat juicy because it's lamb, but with the other bry clip we'll do on the thicker chops, I'll explain a different technique. We have a, a rosa pink or a medium rare chop. This is a different angle where it's a drier chop, but you still got the juices and the flavor. Meat's ready. As you can see, nice brown and crisp. And this particular grill is quite nice. There's lots of space. You can put thicker cuts here. And you've got different settings over there. That's for tight. That's for looser when you've got, for example, a spatchcock chicken or something. And there's more space in it. Press the grill too hard on the meat. So now we take our chops off. You can see it's nice and crispy. Yeah.